guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a makeup tutorial. If you couldn't tell by the title, why do I feel like I'm on Top Chef? And today I have for you, <laughs> not Top Chef, what is it called? Chopped. I love that show by the way. First off, I did want to say a huge shout out to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. When they reached out to me and asked me to try out the new Charlotte Tilbury line, I was like, <laughs> of course, that is like my favorite line. Like I love Charlotte Tilbury. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know this. I have like my collection going. So I'm super stoked to show you how the new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder applies and also the new concealer, but I'm also going to be playing around with a ton of Charlotte Tilbury products as well as some other things like the Norvina Anastasia palette, which is how I got this look here. But we are going to be focusing on how to achieve a flawless face finish. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely keep watching and we'll go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first, I'm just going to start by prepping the skin. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is freaking amazing. It really does prep your face for such a flawless uh, makeup application so that is why this step is actually pretty important I feel like skin prep in all my makeup looks is really what helps me get really smooth and glowy radiant skin it's just a really beautiful rich like very velvet to the touch kind of cream oh it hydrates my skin like no other you guys and I have super dry skin but it doesn't leave it oily or anything like that it just is Magic, like it's called. Next, I'm gonna go on to one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. I think this was like my first Charlotte Tilbury discovery, which just led me to fall completely in love with the line. I like to kind of add this to the high points of my cheeks, but then also just kind of all over, to be honest. So I do kind of want to do a smoky eye because I am going to celebrate a birthday tonight, so it's a proper get ready with me. I feel like I might have a little bit of fallout, so before I dive into all of the complexion products, I do want to just kind of get my eye. What I'm going to be using is actually the Anastasia Nervina palette. So I am going to start with the crease, and I'm going to take Incense, which is just a really nice brown. And then I'm gonna start layering this shade Passion, which is a deeper reddish brown. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges so that it looks a bit softer. And then I'm gonna take the shade Eccentric. And this one is a bit more orangey, so it's gonna give us some, a lot of warmth. And then I'm also gonna take that other side with Eccentric and then just buff it. Then I'm gonna take Summer, which is a shimmer shade, the inner corner, and then just kind of like pushing it out. So I'm gonna take this brush again and take Passion one more time. Take that shade Base, which is like a matte kind of bone color, and then just add that here to help blend out. I should have done my eyebrows, what was I thinking? Do some light strokes to fill these gaps in that I have. I'm actually gonna take Summer with my finger because I feel like with your finger, and any kind of foiled shadow, it just allows the shadow to pop more. I'm gonna go into Volatile, a little bit to that chocolate brown. I'm gonna place it right on the corner for some added depth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move right on to my foundation. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury, surprise, surprise. This was another one of my first products that I tried from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's so nice because they actually expanded the shade range. So I was medium before, medium six, and now they have 0.5, so I'm using 6.5. They just added some additional undertones, so I feel like this one is going to match me better. It's gonna be my first time actually applying this. So I'm actually gonna use this brush here, apply it first like war paint <laughs> and I just like to do a light light layer of foundation I would say this is like semi coverage like it's definitely buildable but it still allows your skin to really read as skin while still like kind of offering it's kind of customizable like as much as you put is like basically what you're gonna get but I like to just kind of do a light layer of foundation it's not like super dewy but it's not completely matte either and it just gives my skin an overall 
even complexion even with just using a little bit of product so instead of going super heavy with foundation and trying to cover up blemishes and getting a flawless face in that sense even though this foundation does give already a really nice evenness to the skin I like to really use concealer and cover up whatever I want to cover up so actually Charlotte Tilbury just came out with these new concealers this is the magic away liquid concealer this is shade 7 and it has like this really dope spongy applicator which I love and you just bring up the product by twisting the bottom here and this little sponge tip applicator has like a bit of a point so you can really get in here which is where I really like to concentrate concealer and then with my damp beauty blender I'm just gonna start buffing that out I like my makeup to read a bit more natural even though I am going out and I still want like a very done face but I'm still covering up what I want to cover up and kind of faking that I got eight hours of sleep even though I did it it blends out so easy and I can just kind of go back and these this is like where I have like some remaining acne scars that still haven't gone away so I can just kind of dab that like this so now that I have my base going I'm just gonna quickly add some cream bronzer buff that right under my cheekbone and then just kind of blending up since it is a bronzer and now I'm gonna set those products with powder so I always like to set right under my eyes because that's where I tend to crease so I'm gonna take the new Charlotte Tilbury magic powder and you guys know how much I don't like powder to read as powder and this definitely does not it is such a beautiful super finely milled type of finish I'm just gonna pack it on with my beauty blender actually right under here that way my makeup doesn't budge, kind of like a baking action, and then I'm gonna swipe it away with a brush. Like you guys have probably never seen me bake on my channel. It helps me maintain my makeup. So what I like to do also is with the rest of my face, because under my eyes is where I really crease, so that's where like I like to have heavier powder, but the rest of my face I still like to look really glowy. So actually what I like to do is use this guy, which is Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish. It's basically like it helps to set your makeup, but it doesn't act as this much of a powder. Again, super finely milled, super luxe. I love it. And then I'm just gonna dust that and just kind of swipe. And it literally just leaves you with such a flawless face. Please do not take a shot every time I say flawless. It will not end well. It has like a blurring filter. It literally looks like Snapchat skin. So now I'm gonna move on to the powder, bronzer, and a blush. And for blush, I'm actually just gonna mix the two. They're both beautiful. I don't know which one to choose, so I'm just gonna mix the two. And then apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I love anything with like a little coral bit. I'm gonna use this top shade here. It has those little rose gold vibes that I love. I'm gonna add a little bit to the nose up here, a little to the tip, just slightly brushing it, and a lot <laughs> to the upper lip. So before I move on to like setting my eyebrows with gel and the mascara and the lip, I'm gonna just set all of this. This is the Too Faced Hangover Setting Mist. You can actually use it as a primer spray as well. Mmm. Oh, gives you like those coconut. Just makes my skin feel so alive. Kind of adds to the glow as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Legendary Brow by Charlotte Tilbury. I just got the shade clear since my eyebrows are pretty dark, but I do like to have more of a brushed up, like wispy look, and I like them to stay all day, so this definitely comes through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this through. And to finish off the eye, I'm gonna use the NARS Climax Mascara. This guy is new, and isn't the packaging so beautiful? I love how it stands out from like all the other mascaras since it's red. We'll just go ahead and add that. So now the look is almost complete. I'm just gonna finish it off with this YSL lip stain. And I love these lip stains. I own so many. This is actually the shade 25. And it's this like really pretty pink, very like subdued kind of lip. I love them because you can kind of like just put them on and then forget about it. You're not like worried about how it's fading or anything like that because it kind of just fades beautifully. So I 
am ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, a huge shout out to Nordstrom for allowing me to test out one of my favorite lines, Charlotte Tilbury. I love, 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 love her products. Love the line. So you can definitely check out the Charlotte Tilbury line at your nearest Nordstrom or at Nordstrom.com. I will have everything linked below as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.